Okay, welcome to Fire and Water Challenge Day 8. have my water here. Already finished it once. Going to try for three more times at least. Um, 80 ounces of water is my goal. What's yours? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you're doing it or if you've changed your goal or if you've upped it or just barely making it. Either way, um, that's our water portion. The fire portion is what we're firing up our glutes. Not just to improve the way they look, though that is a big bonus, um, but also for their function, for running, and for sports. If you have strong glutes, strong core, your knees and your back will take a lot less of the beating if you can use that strength from the middle of the body. So that's what we're trying to work on, as well as looking good for spring break coming up. Um, vanity of vanities, I know, but is what it is um here we go let's get going we're going to start with the side leg lift like we finished with yesterday except this time we're going to add in a little plank option and i am going to use my band you don't have to it's just an extra and you will want your dumbbell nearby and of course your mat so let's go yeah my band I'm gonna put it around my thighs just like yesterday. Hopefully it won't slide. Have to wrestle with it again today. Now, like I said, we're gonna do a side plank. So your elbows right under your shoulder, your belly's tucked. Now, if the side plank is too much, you can stay right here. Okay, you don't have to lift the hips. But if you can, can lift the hips, get a straight line, knee to shoulder. Again, core is engaged. That top foot is pointed forward. You can lift it just about hip height right there. So you're in a straight line now from shoulder to foot. And we're just going to lift and lower that leg. So it's a lift and lower. Exhale. Two. We got 20. That's three. Four. Five. And this is plenty tough enough without the band. So either way. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, hold strong, five, four, three, two, last one. You probably noticed you can feel that on both sides, on both hips, that hip that's holding you up and the hip of the leg that's lifting, so that's good. Now, we're going to stay on this leg. So that was my right leg I'm lifting. I'm going to keep working the right leg. I'm going to turn over so I'm on all fours, wrist under the shoulders, belly tucked, knees under the hips. Get that nice position to start. You're going to stretch out the right leg. You're going to stretch out that right leg. And we're going to lift and lower. So flex the right foot, lift it up, feel the squeeze in the booty so the core is engaged, the butt's what's doing the work, not the low back, and lower down. So it's exhale, inhale. Three, four, no movement in that upper body. Five, six, seven, really focus on the glutes, squeezing. Nine and ten. Exhale. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Last one. Exhale. Good. All right, let's flip over and do both those on the other side. So going on for the side plank here, left leg's gonna be lifting. That right leg will get some work because it's helping to hold the body up, working with the obliques. So elbow under the shoulder, knee in line with shoulder. Go ahead and lift up to that side plank. Toe pointed forward, lift that leg hip height. And here we go, exhale, inhale. Two, three, four, five, six, 
five, six, seven, yep, a little burn already, eight, nine, that's ten, ten, nine, think about the core, eight, seven, six, five, four, last three, two, and one. Well, that was getting tough. All right, on all fours, so that was my left leg I was lifting, and I'm going to keep on my left leg over here, knees to the shoulders, wrist and the hips, make sure you got room behind you for that left leg to extend. Here we go. Lift and lower the foot's flexed. Core's tight. Booty squeezes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Belly cut. Four, three, last two, exhale, last one, good. All right, we can lose the band now. We're going to do a single leg glute bridge. So if you want a dumbbell, grab your dumbbell. We're going to lay all the way back on our mat. Got my big heavy dumbbell. Get whatever works for you. Lay it back, shoulders down, neck long, belly tucked, tuck that heel in close to your booty here. We're going to take the other leg up, it doesn't matter what you're doing with it, just keep it loose. And we're going to be pressing through that single leg, we're going to do a single leg glute bridge, we're doing 20. And then for our next exercise, we're just going to hold it up and do 20 small pulses at the top. So this is kind of a, it's another back-to-back -back, uh, work for one leg. Okay, so you ready for it? Get your weight where you want it to start. Focus, push through the heel. Up and down. Get that squeeze at the top and down. Three. We have done this one before. Four. Five. Adding that pulse at the end, it's going to take it up a notch. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale. No pinch in the back or the knee, should be all glutes and hamstrings. I lost count. Six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Now take it up and hold it. Take it up and hold. Try to get that nice straight line and 20 pulses here. Push the bottom of the foot toward the ceiling. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll it down. Okay, that was a tough one. Other side. You got to do it on the other side now. So my weight's on my right side. I'm going to be pushing through my right heel. My left leg is long. You ready for it? Take it up and down. Exhale, inhale. Two. All the way. Three. Make sure you're getting that good squeeze of the top. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Halfway with these. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now take it up and hold. Here we go. Little pulses. Press to the ceiling. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, exhale down. Oh, that is really tough for me. Okay, now we're going to stand it up, bring your dumbbell with you. We're going to do um, a lunge with a leg, a hip extension. Okay, so you can stand it up, move your mat out of the way. I'm going to have my left foot forward. My right leg's going to go back into that lunge. I'm holding my dumbbell on my right arm. You can go dumbbell, no dumbbell, either way. I'm going to take that right foot to the back so I'm in this big split position. Weight's in my heel in the front foot. Dropping that back knee and then I'm going to lift and extend, squeezing that right booty cheek. Belly tucks up so it's not lower back, it's glutes squeezing. Okay, so that's one. Going back down and up. Two, if you need a wall for balance, that's fine. Three, I'm sure I'll use mine. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 10 more. Stand tall, 10, exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two. Exhale, last one. Good. Heart rates up. Glutes are firing. That's what we want. Other side. Weights in the left hand. Right foot's forward. Left foot's going back. Do that extension. Squeezing the booty. Core stays tight. Remember to stay tall. Whew, here we go. Left foot back. Take it up and squeeze. So that's one. Inhale, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, stand tall, core tight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, last one, exhale, good, almost lost my balance on the last one, that's all right, got it done, felt good, that's tough, heart rate's up on that one, good job. If you made it through, I hope you did. And I hope you'll come back for days nine and 10. We're so close. Keep drinking your water. Keep firing up those glutes. Think about your core throughout the day too. Always re-engaging the core, using it for your life to help you function better because we want to save those knees and backs for the, for the long term, okay? Leave me a comment, thumbs up, thumbs down. All right, we'll see you back tomorrow.